just arrived to my location. I am in the middle of nowhere. So this is a little office space that me and my other classmate, he sits over there. Yo, shout out to my CI. Today, he allowed me to do more and more components of treatment. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, student doctor of physical therapy. And right now I am heading to my first clinical rotation. We just finished finals week and now I have to go do my first clinical rotation ever. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna take you guys along and I have a nice long drive, um, five hour drive. So I'm gonna get to it and subscribe and let's get this video started. Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening and it sounds just like a song I want more berries and that summer feeling it's so wonderful and warm breathe me in breathe me in. guys I just arrived to my location I am in the middle of nowhere Illinois um, <laughs> there's a bunch of vacant buildings and stuff so i have no idea what i'm getting myself into i just don't understand how there's a huge medical facility around here to house three people but anyway i'm about to go um up to my airbnb unpack all my stuff and see what see where the day takes us i might go skating i might go do, get a workout in or something or just tour the nice lovely city i finished my first day of my clinical rotation today i just got done um, today I worked 8 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. and tomorrow I have to work from 7 a.m. to um, 2 p.m. Then Wednesday I do the same as today. So three days a week I work 7 to 6 actually. And then the other two days I work 7 to 2. So not too bad. Um, my other two roommates, they both have um, a day off during the week. I don't have that, but it's kind of nice having a couple of short days. So it's whatever. But the first day went really well. Um, I got to do a lot of observation and learning. It's so cool to be able to learn what I've been looking at on paper for so long and finally get to see it in action. Um, a lot of things are different than what we learn, um, a lot of different philosophies, and that's pretty cool. That's what I like about having your doctorate degree. You literally get to uh, make different decisions based on your reasoning, as long as you have a reason behind what you do. But I've already picked up on a few things that um, I really like and I want to continue to learn on. So this is really cool. Um, so day one is a success. Um, I love my CI so far, um, and I love the way that they run the clinic. It's so cool. I just finished my second day of work. Um, now I'm about to head to the gym. Um, the second day went really well. Um, I got to do some more hands-on components, so that was good. Um, we saw a couple of different patients um, today. Yesterday I saw a lot of low back pain and uh, sciatica and different things like that, but today I got to see a shoulder. Um, did I see a neck? I think I saw a neck. But anyway, you guys want to hear about that. But it was really cool. It's been cool so far. My CI is literally the best. Like, I can't have a better CI. I hope all of my other um, practicums are the same. But right now, I'm actually about to go to the gym. Yo, shout out to my CI. He hooked me up with this membership. Um, shout out to him. Literally, he just came after after work. He was like, uh, come to the gym, have your fob. All you need to do is sign a waiver and you're good for the three weeks. Tell me that's not clutch. Literally, that was the biggest thing coming up here was, shoot, I hope they have a gym and for a reasonable price. Cause I've been trying to break the, break, break the bank. I'm literally still paying my rent in Chicago for my apartment and still paying my gym membership. So this was clutch that I was able to secure this. Shout out to my CI. Um, this is super dope, but I'm back on the grind. Um, I want to be at my Airbnb as least as possible. So honestly, um, I was doing two days back in Chicago. I might start doing three days here. So I literally want to be out of there as much as possible. And I have nowhere else to go but here or work. So literally I got a lift in. Then now I'm on elliptical, doing some programming. Doing some programming, which I'll show you guys, uh, tell you guys about soon. Maybe you won't know about it. Follow my other page. You saw the link of Dale Miller Fitness. Um, so yeah, 
just getting elliptical in, maybe get some reading in, but it feels so good not having to study anything as far as like school and study for a test. This is clutch. So it feels so good on the mental. It feels like I am back home because I am up and at it early this morning. Huh. Woke up at 5.30, about to head to the gym so I can get some normalcy, 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 whatever it's called in my schedule. So I'm gonna go work out before I have to go to work. I have to work today, eight to six, and then I'll probably actually go to the gym after that as well. So, yeah, it should be a great day. I'm in downtown Quincy, bright and early. The life of downtown Quincy. But yeah, I'm excited uh, for the day to see what type of new things I can learn today and see what I can do. Get my hands on some patience. So this is a little office space that me and my other classmate, he sits over there. Um, he doesn't have work today. And then Leo is in the other building. And yeah, this is where I do my little sitting in between patients or whatever. It is lunchtime and I wanted to show you guys where I eat my lunch. Um, this is like a room where like everybody comes in here, physicians, nurses, a lot of different people. They have a bunch of these rooms, I guess, throughout the building, but this is where I go. Um, usually it's super packed, but yeah, um, my lunch got extended a little bit today because we don't have a patient. We had like two blocks um, empty of patients after lunch, if that makes sense. I don't know, whatever. But um, this room's cool. They have like um, medical reps always bring in food over here. They have like a little, um, food thing that you scan and then you have to pay for it. Um, they trust you to pay for it and stuff, I guess. And then they have a bunch of free coffee machines, which have been super clutch. Um, working like 10 hour shifts is new to me. So um, I'm not even a coffee drinker, but sometimes I drink coffee. Um, but yeah, so they have coffee machines. And that's about it. So yeah, this is where I come for lunch. And then I'm also over here just doing some work and different things like that. I just closed my computer because I'm about to head back up to work and go sit at my little desk until um, the next patient comes in. So yeah, it's been super cool not having to study. I've already alluded to that, but it's been crazy. Like I'm actually able to work on things and work on business stuff and think and read books outside of school um, to be able to grow my mind and do what I want to do. Just finished my fourth day of my, wait, was it my fourth? Yeah. This is my fourth day, the days are getting jumbled up. Just finished my um, fourth day, I'm about to head to the gym and my CI just texted me, we're gonna go golfing and then we're gonna go to dinner. So how cool is that? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go meet my CI, um, pick his brain a little bit, so that's really cool. And he got me this gym membership too, so my, my CI literally is the best. Like literally I was just thinking, I was like shoot, I wish that I had him for my 10 week rotation and not for my three week one. So hopefully um, my 10 week rotation in the winter time, hopefully my CI is just as cool as this guy because he's literally the best. But yeah, the first the, today went well. I got to do a lot more things today. Um, today I stretched a frozen shoulder. Um, I did some hip stretches on a patient. Um, it's really cool because yes, I've done all some of these things before on like my classmates, but it's way different doing it on like an actual patient and the nerves is just so much higher because I mean these are people with real actual problems and people with real actual payments who are paying these people to do this. So it was cool. Um, my CI trusted me to do that. So yeah, that's really cool. Then I did some goniometry. Um, yeah, that's about it. And um, I just done a lot of palpation stuff, um, which is really good because I've been feeling like the differences and structures of different body parts that I wasn't really able to feel during class because of COVID, we always wear gloves. So being able to feel it with my bare hands and then use different techniques, different things like that has been super helpful and super cool to be able to do on a real patient. And then um, we did, he does like this myofascial thing, which I'm gonna do some research on in the next couple of days. People come far to come get this done on them. And um, so I got to like palpate before and after and it's a huge difference. So yeah, this is cool. I'm gonna go um, to golf and then 
dinner with him later. And But now I have to go get swole to get this workout in, release some of this testosterone because I'm always pent up, I'm always built up. I have that animal inside of me that just wants to be released and be an animal. All right guys, it is Friday. Um, so I just officially completed my last day of my first week of my first clinical. Ooh, that's a mouthful. But um, we killed it. Today, um, he allowed me to do more and more components of treatment. I took a patient completely through all their exercises. I did a little bit of an evaluation, um, but it was deemed early on that um, the patient wasn't fit for outpatient physical therapy. Um, we actually contacted their physician office and recommended um, either in-home nursing or um, to go to a nursing home. So uh, I'm kind of scarred from that. My first evaluation ever went that way, but it went really well this week. I have um, a lot more things scheduled next week. I'm on my way back to Michigan because I have a wedding this weekend and I have to come all the way back up here um, to do my second week of my rotation. And that is about a four and a half, five hour drive. So I'm about to go get on the road right now. I'm going to do um, two evaluations when we get back. Um, so yeah, it's been a great week. It's been an eye opener. Um, but I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Over 50% of you guys are watching but aren't subscribed. It's free to subscribe and it will mean the world to me. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.